What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Apathy today. We're gonna be starting our day right for the 2K. I'm gonna be about one motherfucking supply drop and let's see where our luck takes us, huh? Shall we? I did it for you guys. Right here. Here's all the luck. Here's all the marbles. Let's fucking go! Oh, I got attack 19 royalty. I'm pretty sure that's pretty good. Alice Ranger boots. I don't have that yet. I think it's pretty good. But now let's continue to the video. I can't believe I just wasted two dollars on one supply drop. I never thought I'd buy supply drops in the first place. Never planned to, but you know, I decided to do it today for you guys. Might as well spice it up a little bit. Excuse me. So in today's free for all, I want to be talking about a little bit about Black Ops 3 and about AW and kind of what has happened recently with the past and about the recent games let's get spawned so black ops 3 seems to be the game to buy right everybody likes it it looks amazing uh esports multiplayer it looks phenomenal it looks like it's going to be the game of the year you know everything about it is so perfect looks fun non-stop uh it's positivity from pros especially from the people who played it already you know they're like this game is so fun it's so different it's gonna take more skill blah 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 etc 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 and I feel like this game is going to be a lot better. Now, in this game, in AW, obviously jetpacks was the whole thing. And now, I feel like the thing about Black Ops 3 is probably going to be specialist and wall running. Even though wall running, like, yeah, there are some areas around the map <clears throat> that involves wall running. But to be honest, like, there's not many places, right? I'm pretty sure you can only wall run in certain areas. There's only probably, like, two, three areas on the whole map that requires wall running. That's not really going to be a factor. It's obviously going to be the strategy, the skill, how your team works. I mean, the crazy part is, you see the hard point? It, you, you can no longer win pretty much from time. You have to hit 250. That's going to create some insane combat. You know, it's going to create insane gameplay. I feel like you're going to be up 250, 200 to, like, being a team 200 to, like, 80. And out of nowhere, the team is going to get streaks. They're going to turn up. And they're going to come back so hard on you. And you're just going to be left with your mouth open, like... I feel like last year, same time around this time, everybody was so hyped about AW. People sort of said that AW wasn't going to be that good. So most people said it was going to be good. It was going to be the be it was going to be a really good Call of Duty. But some people still had didn't really believe in it because of the jetpacks, I guess, and all that. But I think this time around, I really feel like Black Ops 3 has way more support. People have actually played it already. You know, people are really I thought I fell off the map. I think I did. Yeah, I did. People are really looking forward to this game. And I'm just as excited, you know, I watched the Black Ops 3 reveal for the esports and the multiplayer and all that. And it was insane, man. Like, everything about it, the specialist, the strategy, like, the pick and ban, like, all that. Now, I agree with Aix because I saw him tweet about something about that. Saying, you know, there's too many things to be banned. There's too many OP things, right? Like, UAV, uh, some explosives, like, probably, like, C4, rockets, all that stuff. So, I feel like there's going to be have to be a couple bans that are permanent. For example, UAV, blah, blah, blah. And then the rest will obviously be chosen from picking bands. But now you don't want to do it completely to a point where you're only going to choose... For example, if you ban, let's say, five things permanently. And then when it comes to pick and ban, you're going to ban like everything else. So you really don't want to do that. So I really hope they just ban a couple things. Like the most OP things. Like the most OP kill streaks, UAV, whatever. And then like explosives, like C4, rocket launchers, all that shit. And it's... Either way, guys, I'm getting raped in this free-for-all. But I'm just so excited to be talking to you about black ops 3 and like i said aw had the hype you know some people doubted it though but this time around i think everybody's excited for black ops 3 at least most people are the only thing people are really excited about is the fact that it's going to be on the ps4 it's not 100 percent confirmed but it's about i would say 99 95 percent confirmed that which is pretty much confirmed i haven't even played the game yet but i'm definitely excited to play it. i don't know how many times i've said that but i am man it looks insane it looks incredible and the fact that you know oh man like I just love playing a new game. I'm going to be grinding. I told myself before that this is going to be the game I'm going to max out Prestige. In this game, I got to like 7 Prestige, but I didn't even start Prestige until later in. And I feel like this game, I'm just going to be grinding. If I'm not playing competitive, if I'm not playing 8s, if I'm playing whatever, I would be grinding pubs. I'm going to be constantly grinding, man. I really want to be good at the game. And Black Ops 2, I was pretty good, but I never grinded, you know. I, I barely put in time. I was too focused on school and my relationship. And, you know, this time around... I, especially with Black Ops 3, I think it's going to be an insanely huge game. I think the tournaments are going to be huge. Uh, you know, it's going to be crazy. And I want to put in the time. I want to be on a good team. I want to be on one of the best teams. I want to be one of the best players. And I know if I just put in the time, I can be. I'm, I feel like I'm really talented. 
I have what it takes. It just, in the end of the day, it comes down to me grinding and not being lazy and just showing everybody what I'm made of. I still gotta buy my PS4 because I haven't gotten it yet. And the only reason why I'm getting it this early, even though it's like 99% confirmed, it's still 1% missing, that's not uh, that's not on the PS4 yet because nothing has been, I think 100%, but it's about 99% confirmed, which is almost the same thing, is the fact that I wanna play the beta early. I know the beta comes out for the PS4 a couple days earlier, it's for about a week. And I am leaving to MES, but you know, either way, I'll have about four or five days to grind the game and just play and have so much fun. And I want to be able to do that, so I will buy the PS4 for that reason. And for, obviously for the reason to the fact that it's going to be on the PS4, 99% sure. Either way, guys, tell me what you think about Black Ops 3. Leave in the comments below. You think it's good? You think it's going to suck? I feel like it's going to be amazing. I know you guys have a lot of positive feedback about it. Some people have been complaining a little bit about it. But honestly, man, it looks like it's going to be the game. We said that about AW, but... You know, AW had some issues, had, they didn't really have too much support, and I feel like this is going to be completely different. We're going to have amazing support, we're going to have amazing tournaments, and it, the game already looks incredible. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy, Apathy, and I'm out.